history. Come along with me as I discover this wonderful place. Okay folks, we are now here in Henry Ford Museum. First thing I'd like to show you is something I've never seen before. They usually only have it at Christmas time, which is not when we're here, but look at this cool model train layout. It might, this is a bit more of a not so detailed, but reminds me of um, the one at the Choo Choo. As we saw a week ago. Okay, we've left the um, train layout, but that was super, super cool. I even saw two trains had a camera on the front of them, and that displayed on two TVs. That was really cool. Here, I thought you might like to see, is a trolley. And since we just rode the trolley at the Chattanooga Choo Choo about a week ago, I think that's really, really cool that I saw on kind of an antique older trolley here. So, um, anyway. I'm going to take a picture of this and then head on. There's some other really cool older rolling stock, train rolling stock here that we're going to check out. There's the trolley, the train car. One thing that's really cool is like the thing is like the snow shovel or something. This is really cool and a caboose. And you know, I've never been back here. It's a shame. There's a really cool engine which I'll show you in a minute. That's the um, that's the main, that's the main thing that I see all the time. But you know, I, I've never seen this train back here. Is that cool or what? That is just so awesome. I've never been back here. You know, this time I've trying to find some of those more little-known spots that. I've never been in and um, it's amazing all this stuff I haven't seen even after coming here for a decade. But um, I think I'm going to take a few pictures here. This is really, really awesome. This is, um, I believe, a Baldwin locomotive. 
1909 Baldwin. Cool. Okay, that engine, Baldwin engine, is awesome. Here's an Atlantic and Gulf Railroad engine. It says the Sam Hill. That's just kind of cool. This here is the Allegheny 1601, number 1601, I believe. It is like the most photographed object in this whole museum. Just a gigantic locomotive. And one of the really cool things is that you can take, get up into the cab and get your picture there. So that's what I'm doing right now. I think I'm even going to create a geocaching photo challenge here to get your picture right here. I'm creating a geocaching photo challenge, yay! Wow. That's what it looks like from out there. 1601. Look at that cab. Try to get some coordinates soon and make this into a geocaching photo challenge. Just sit in that seat, pull that lever, and get your picture. Toot toot, and you are the engineer of this huge, gigantic locomotive. And here's some more of the Allegheny. Look how big those driver wheels are. There's some coaches here. Evidently, this was a um, very, this was a very powerful locomotive, which was, I'm sure really all loads back in the day. Wow. Okay, now we are on to the newest exhibit in the Henry Ford Museum, Driving America. They used to have this exhibit called, in the longest time, Automobiles in American Life. And, um, but last year they totally renovated it, and now it's called Driving America. So, here we go, seeing some of car some cars. See what else we can find. And they can learn where to check the oil, where to fill the oil, where to, you know, maybe I should go over there. <laughs> I, I've been learning myself. <laughs> it's a Texaco. Looks like they're working, or you can work on a car. Cool. Right. No? This is really a neat place. You know, I think I'm going to make this into a, this be a perfect place for a geocaching photo challenge. Okay, that was a really cool um, part, new part of um, exhibit Driving America. And I guess, you know, kids, there's kind of a kid friendly car. You can change the tires, check the oil, all sorts of car stuff. and can try to do it as fast as you can. Um, I got some cords and I'm definitely gonna make that into a geocaching challenge. It's perfect challenge material. And I'm just so excited I'm able to make some cool challenges here at, Green, at Henry Ford Museum. Oh, look at that car. bunch of cars. You can see those over there. Okay, I'm just going to take you. And a little tour of the different cars they have here. I don't know much about them. I'm not going to stop much at them. 
but yeah, cool. Trucks here, old trucks. And I guess there's some other people that have them right now, but there's some interactive. Um, you can like drive a Model T or different interactive things. They give you a card at the front, and then you can slide it and do all sorts of different interactive activities here, which is kind of cool. Look at this. That's really cool. All the bright colors. More it looks like this is a race car section of driving America. What else we can find here in driving America? I know you're seeing a little repeat right here, but back to the Texaco station. But, um, Another cool car. More cool cars there. I guess family van. And You're gonna find them. Let's see over here. Let's see. Oh, this one of my favorites. Look at that sign right there. Is that cool or what? I think we're gonna have to make a, maybe make a challenge there. And do some old fashioned cars. This, I thought I'd tell you a little bit more. This sign was in the old exhibit. That um, Lammy's Diner right back there. It didn't used to be operational, but now it is. Um, but the uh, prices are a little high. I don't think we'll do that. Look, here's a fake horse. And carriage, and buggy. It's like this is some sort of a train car or a trolley. And a stagecoach. And a car. Lots of cars in here. And, um, but I guess my place is. But, um, anyway. Oh yes, let's um, go check this out. This is one neat spot. I don't know if you saw in any of my previous video, there's a huge replica of Independence Hall. I think that's what it is, the big tower. That's this main entrance down here. And this is a shovel and or Thomas Edison wrote his signature which is really really cool well thank you for coming along with me and watching this video of me exploring both the trains and the driving America exhibit here in Henry Ford Museum be sure to subscribe above and comment or like below if you haven't already and uh, thank you so much for watching this video me exploring here at Henry Ford Museum. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have enjoyed producing it. And be sure to check out my blog at www.historicalgeocaching.blogspot.com for details on this video 
and others as well as just about anything that's history or geocaching oriented. And this is Geocacher TN Photobook signing out. I'm having a blast. It's best.